here's a system that you can use when you have to match the profile, some kind of curvature that's maybe you don't have the radiuses. Unfortunately, the difference between when we framed this and when we came back to put the finished trim on here has been like seven, eight months. So the radiuses that I had here laid out on the interior of the house are gone. So <clears throat> we have to just manually do this. So put a board on, marked out at two inch increments. And then more or less what I can do now is plumb up, write the number for all of these. I'll then transfer this to the sheets that I have and some sheets of uh, AZAC. I can basically convert this grid on there, lay out the profile. Once I have the initial radius, then I can just use this as a reference to determine my other radiuses. But yeah, this is an easy way to manually do that. I'll show you what that looks like on the next step here. There I have my sheets of AZAC laid out. I got a scrap piece that I can use. Unfortunately, this thing is longer than my material is, so I have to put a seam in there. But anyways, my largest number was 30 and 7 16ths. So I'm gonna set this board parallel to the top of the sheet, uh, a little bit greater than 30 and 7 16ths. So this is set parallel to the peak. I just went 31 inches. Both sides. Left enough overlap here for my seam. I made sure I kept this up high enough so that when I get the, the full thickness of my board, I'm not running out of the bottom here. So it's a little bit of thinking ahead. Now the painstaking process of laying out these points. I'll probably do every other one and see if I can find a common radius. And that'll save me the trouble of having to do every single one, but if I need to, I can lay out every single one and get the get the total curve here. Alrighty. I very tediously scribed this out. Just used a little flimsy piece to kind of connect two or three together at a time. Gives me the profile. Once I cut this. I'll be able to just use a gauge block and slide it to scribe my second radius. It'll be very easy to do. This is the hard part, just getting one. Alrighty, time to cut this bastard. Okay, now I've got my profile cut. I just need to trace the other side. I made a gauge block that is 12 inches, which I'll just slide along the perimeter here to scribe out the other end of my board. We're making a 12 inch wide board. Here we go. Here we are now. Complete profile. Cut that out and hold it up. There she is. Now I've taken that piece and scribed it onto my next panel. Because I've got to do the inside as well. However, there's tongue and groove on there, so this is this is a different width. So I'm just gonna use the bottom profile, measure up the width I need to be, and basically do the opposite I did last time. Last time I cut the top profile and then I scribed with a gauge block the bottom. This time I'm gonna use the bottom profile since I know it's already good, and then scribe the length for the top. Build some tapered columns. Should be all done. Ta da!